Hey, you motherfucking noobs. I am going to show you how to properly corp. Uh, and I'm just kidding. You're you're not freaking idiots or morons or fucking noobs. Okay, maybe you are. That's why you're probably viewing this. Anyway, that aside, first, what do you want to do? It's take a clip that you want with like a figure of a person or object that you want to take and put into a different scene, which is masking and corping. First, you put the clip you want, as I said, onto the first timeline where I have it circled. And if you can't understand what I'm saying, just go with the marks. It'll just show you what to do, basically. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the reason for it, because I stutter and I talk and I end up rambling like I'm doing right now. Anyway, you're going to put it on the first timeline, which is highly recommended, so you don't lose your spot. And then, you're going to right-click and go to... So, pardon me. Go to... Uh, Video Event Pan Corp, or again, where have the annoying boxes and squares. Once you do that, a screen will pop up with a larger image of um, your video preview. On the left, uh, left hand side, it should say position, rotation, keyframe, source, and workspace. And once you're there, you're going to want to go to the bottom left where it says position and click mask. And then that little box that you saw before with the little squares on it. And that big giant fucking F that stands for fuck you, just kidding, <clears throat> is going to be gone. And next, what you want to do is start clicking the person or object that you want to be in the, other, uh, the next scene or just to be out of a frame period. Um, you're going to keep along the edges, and you see those little boxes that are going to pop up. And you keep going around the edges, it's pretty much simple as that. And then you're, by the time you get done, this is how it should look. It should have all the little... Um, boxes around it and all lined up neatly or softly whatever the hell you want to do it I don't know and you're going to want to click the very first box that you started at where you first clicked which I hope you can see it's a circle there um, and then once you do that it should come out like this to the bottom right you'll see my uber sexy little click clip that I have over here and how it's going to come out um, pretty much it looks really shitty because it's not uh, feathered which is probably how a lot of you are going, what the fuck, that's why I'm here for. I want to learn how to feather, it just looks shitty. Alright, no, you know, just settle the fuck down, you fucking midgets. I don't know why I said midgets, first thing that came to mind, I'm stupid, don't mind me. Anyway, after that, this is how it should look so far. It should have the black background and the thing you have selected. Next, you're going to want to go to feather type, and it should say none at the moment. Well, not for long. Next you're going to click uh, click the box where it said none and you're going to uh, scroll down and you're going to click both. The reason for this is so that you get that nice feathery look once you do it. But the feathering doesn't look like it until you actually start it to the feather percentage which I'll get into next. Um, once clicking both you're going to go here to feather percentage and it should have 0, 0.0 when you first start. So we want to change that right? Of course. Duh. Then you're going to open that up or click upwards or whatever. I have it set to 7 and it looks really like glowy and sloppy because I did a shitty job because I was in a hurry. And uh, But it's still sexy anyway. So that's how it should look by that time. It will be nice and uh, clean and a little bit glowy. A lot of you will probably master this a lot better than I have. I'm just showing you how to do it. Anyway, next, you want to take that Hold on, okay, sorry. My mind just completely blanked out. <clears throat> You're going to take that whole thing that you just edited and keep it on the first timeline. Next, you're going to, of course, get the clip you want to put them in and and put it under on the third timeline or whatever one to let you. It's more, more than likely going to be the third. And you're going to have it there, and that's how it should look, where the red square is. And you could adjust the position of your uh, your masked... Uh, object by going to a uh, you know what I'll leave that for another video this is that's pretty much all you need to know for right here so yeah this is mainly for a friend of mine so yeah fuck you anyway that's how you do it and that's how it's gonna come out and if it's not clean enough well then just figure it out with what I told you yeah so that's about it and uh, enjoy